winter storm warning in effect until 10 tonight. The Vermont Agency of Transportation says hazardous conditions will continue throughout the night. Local 22's Courtney Adelman joins us live now with more on those conditions. Courtney, what's it looking like right now? Well, Courtney, you know, as Amanda said, the snow does seem to be tapering off just a little bit, but the wind is certainly blowing it every which way, making it a little hard to see. But the Vermont Agency of Transportation says they will continue to work on the roads throughout the night and into the morning. But they say if you don't have to drive, then don't. Stay home. Bake cookies, banana bread, anything. Dan Shepard is the District 5 manager for the Vermont Agency of Transportation. He says his crews have been working hard for the worst snowstorm we've seen this year. Essentially say plow, plow, plow. It's snowing too hard for the material to work. So the best thing to do is just try to keep up with it and plow it off. With high winds in the forecast Friday night, Shepard says to avoid any areas where bridges cross the rivers. And just driving around out there today without the wind blowing, it's, it's pretty hard to see more than 100 yards. So. And while the morning started off icy, Shepard says because of the snow's consistency, it will help melt some of that ice. But he says the roads will remain slippery. You know, they get it plowed off, it meals up a little bit. The cars will be traveling along, they get caught in that. And it pulls them from one side to the other, especially on the interstate. Local 22 and 44 spoke with some local Vermonters who were getting some last minute groceries. Many say they were happy for the day off, but hoping the storm won't last too long. Yeah, I saw it coming and I said, yep, got, got a PTO day and uh, I think that would be a good idea. Lewis Hulesman says it could have been worse. Well, I got a snow brew, so it ain't too, too bad, uh -huh. you know, but if I didn't, it'd be pretty crappy. And VTrans says if you do need to drive to make sure you're prepared by giving yourself enough time and having things like flashlights, food, and water. For more information, you can stay updated on our website at mychamplainvalley.com. But for now, live in Colchester, Courtney Adelman, Local 22 News.